What's up, everybody? It's Paltown Spiritual, and today we have our first battle with this UU team. Uh, if you want to know more details about the team, please go check out the team builder video that I um, put on the channel. We, but uh, quick recap is we're rocking Mega B Drill, Don Fantanacool, Hydreigon, Arc9, and Roserade. I'm looking at my opponent's team. I think. I think, I think, I think I'm going to lead with Tentacruel. We don't have any Stealth Rocks, which is kind of a bummer. Uh, because that Mega Pidgeot and that Aerodactyl would not have appreciated that, and I apologize for cracking my knuckles there in the video. Hopefully it didn't pick up. But, um, yeah, that Mega Pidgeot and that uh, Aerodactyl would not have appreciated So he leads with this Dog Fan as I lead with my Tentacruel. Um, that's going to be real nice, because like, that's going to force him to switch out. Um, which means I'm... Ooh, wait. Wait, if this is a physically attacking Dawn fan, looking at my opponent's team, this looks like it's his physical wall. The Dawn fan has a mean attack stat anyways. Um, hmm. We're in a hard place right now. I'm gonna go out to my own Dawn fan. Here. Um, because maybe he thinks I'm going to go for Toxic Spikes. Um, and if he thinks I'm going to go for Toxic Spikes, um, he'll Rapid Spin. Earthquake is going to do a lot to our Dawn fan. Um, I am actually going to go, because I know we can live another one, I'm going to go for a knockoff. Ice Shard could do a lot of damage, um, but I think it's going to do around the same. I don't think it's going to do 70%. Knockoff is going to be able to knock off this, um... He goes for his own Stealth Rocks. I go for Knockoff. Get rid of his Rocky Helmet, which is really nice. He's got Stealth Rocks up around our team, and I'm going to go for an Ice Shark. Um, Ice Shark should do a decent amount because we, do, we are adamant. We do have some physical attack investment. As you can see, we have a 305 attack um, stat. Um, so we should be doing a little bit more than he... So his does 18%. Ours is 18%, so I wonder if we're running the same Dawn fan. Um, I am actually... Do I do it? Because I think another Ice Shard is incoming. I'm going to go out to Tentacruel. Because then we can Giga Drain this thing. Um, Ice Shard comes in, doesn't take a lot. Um... Earthquake could do a ton. Um, and predicting the Earthquake, I'm actually I'm gonna bait the Earthquake and go out to Hydreigon. Um, um, and the reason I'm doing that is because I'm kind of making a subpar play. I'm going on to a Pokemon that I know he can hit with Earthquake. Um, and I'm kind of baiting him into thinking I made a bad decision. So he switches into his Trevenant, uh, which is good for us because we do bring a Fire Blast on this Hydreigon. Um, which is really tempting to go for, but based on the rest of his team, a Dark Pulse is going to do a lot. And a Dark Pulse is not going to be resisted by the um, Aerodactyl, although Aerodactyl doesn't have the best defensive sets to talk about, but it does have that rock typing. And uh, it's not, it's going to be neutral on that Cloyster, so Dark Pulse is going to take this thing way down. And we get the flinch. Um, sorry about the flinch hacks, but that was... I forgot Dark Pulse had a chance to flinch! Um... Um, so yeah, he really does not have a safe switch into this thing. So we go ahead and take out the Trevenant, which is nice, because that blocks the, that did block the Leech Seed from our Rosary. Um, so let's see what our opponent is going to do here. Um, Hydreigon is going to be kind of nice, because unless that Alakazam is Choice Scarfed, uh, we are going to outspeed. Um, so if his Alakazam is rocking the, uh... Dazzlingly to take this down. Um, we should outspeed. Uh, that would be a check to this thing. We Dazzling Gleam on the Alakazam, or an Ice Shard or Icicle Spear from that Cloister. Um, if he does go out to that Cloister, though, I am going to go back out to my Tentacruel uh, to take the Ice Shard or Icicle Spear pretty well. I could even go out to my Arcanine and uh, intimidate it um, to kind of force it out. Um, because typically it does, it would run Rock Blast, um, 
And if that's the case, I could swap back out to my tentacle. This is, I'm just thinking out loud. You're showing me my thought process for how I would deal with that. Um, as we're getting higher up in the tiers now, I'm becoming more, fa I'm more familiar with what these things want to do. The only thing on his team that I'm not familiar with is actually the uh, Aerodactyl. I can't tell if he's running, if he's going to be running Mega. He has two potential Megas, but it's probably that Pidgeot. So out comes the Cloyster. Um, I don't think we're going to be able to live a, uh, a skill link. So I'm actually going to go out to Arcanine here, predicting the Icicle Spear. If he goes for the Rock Blast, that might take down our Arcanine, but our Arcanine's not really integral to this team uh, right now, as I think our Choice Scarf is going to be. So we're going to take some Stealth Rock damage, and we're going to get... Um, which, that was really, really clutch, because we just crippled his... Uh, we took away his White Herb. Um... So I'm gonna go for oh. Rock Blast would kill us. Rock Blast would kill us outright. Um I don't have time to do damage calcs. Um E speed from a choice banded Arcanine. What choice banded, okay? What choice banded? He's minus two defense. He has to stay in. We've kind of stuck him to staying in um, with that Intimidate. I did not think he had that. Ooh, we did 50. Rock Blast, miss! Oh my gosh, we've gotten so lucky with these hacks right now. Oh my gosh. Uh, uh, oh my gosh. E-Speed is going to take him out. Um, so... Problem Mon's down. Um, yeah, wow. Um, I mean, not really, because that Pidgeot still poses a bit of a problem. Out comes the Aerodactyl with Unnerve. Um, I'm kind of okay letting my Arcanine go down here, so I'm just going to go fire off another E-Speed. Um, and hit this Aerodactyl for 35! Nice! Home Claws! Okay. Okay, oh! He's not gonna miss those Rock-type moves anymore. He's going for it. Uh, which does tell me, unless he Mega Evolves here, um, it does tell me at least he's not Choiced. Um, Stone Edge. So we're gonna go down. That's fine. Uh, it's Life Orb. We're gonna outspeed. Uh, 394 with max speed. So we're going to outspeed with Hydreigon um, here, which is great to to know that. Um, knowing that he, revealing that life orb was really, really crucial. Um, but I mean, having a setup move also. Uh, I'm going to go for the save Dark Pulse. Uh, not that he would be switching out, but uh, yeah. Dark Pulse is going to be good here. Dark Pulse is going to take this Aerodactyl down. Uh... Leaving our opponent with his Mega Pidgeot, his Donphan, and Alakazam left. Um, let's see, if he switches out to the Donphan, what is our move? Uh, Pidgeot is going to come in. Um, I'm going to switch out to my own Donphan. Um, to kind of... I kind of think that we're kind of done here with Donphan. Um, Mega Pidgeot, once it Mega Evolves, I'm going to have to check its speed. Um, yeah, I'm gonna definitely have to check Mega Pidgeot's speed. Um, so I'm gonna go out here to Donphan, we're gonna take a little bit of damage. He's gonna Mega Evolve and probably go for a Hurricane, uh, which is gonna take us out. So Mega Pidgeot speed is 375. Um, Mega Beedrill speed um, is... Because I won't know off the top of my head. Uh, let me look this up. Mega Pedro. Uh, Mega Pedro should be faster. Uh, 
I gotta look this up. Uh, Mega drill stats. Um, I think our best bet here would actually be Tentacle, and I'll tell you why, um, because we're going to need Toxic Damage on that Dawn Fan. And being a special wall, um, that thing scares me, but we do have some moves for it. I'm actually, I'm going to go for Scald. Um, we should be able to eat up a hurricane. Um, if we don't, that's just gonna tell me how powerful this bird is here. Um, hurricane. We eat it up, kinda, with the two hit KO on us, and we get a burn, uh, which is really nice. Hurricane did 35%, so we're gonna be able to live another one. Um, let's see, his Dawn fan has 61% left. Um,. So I am gonna go for another scald. I'm gonna go for another scald uh, because that'll that'll bring us hurricane 33%. Scald here is gonna bring him down to 30, and burn's gonna bring him down to 18. Um. Okay, I'm gonna go for I'm just gonna go for toxic spikes because it doesn't matter because he can't miss because of no guard. Um. Roost! Ooh, we gotta lay our toxic spikes up. Um, okay, so he's, he is rocking the roost, um, which is really good intel to have. Um, I'm gonna go for another layer of toxic spikes. The only reason I'm going for this is if that Alakazam is not magic card. Um, Hurricane is gonna take us out, that's fine. Um, we see more burn damage. Um, I'm gonna go out to Hydreigon because I know we are gonna outspeed. Um, because this is rocking 375 speed and we are 320 something, so we should be 450 uh, ish. Three twenty four. So we gain 150, 162 points. So it is safe for us to go for a Dark Pulse, and we'll take this thing out. Burn really didn't do much to this uh, Pidgeot, except for forcing him to go for Roost that turn, and actually letting us set up one layer of Toxic Spikes, uh, which is going to be nice on that Don fan. Um, out comes the Don fan, it gets poisoned. Uh, Ice Shard is probably coming in here. Um, we should be able to live that. Dark Pulse. So he's gonna go. He is gonna go down to his poison. Um, I'm surprised he did that. Uh, I would have gone for the Ice Shard. Ice Shard would have put us down into a range that if that Alakazam is scarfed, uh, we die. Um, so out comes Alakazam, if it's, this is, this is it, if he's scarfed, he kind of has to go for Dazzling Gleam, or Focus Blast, um, and either way, uh, Focus Blast has that high miss chance, um, and we can, and it has low PP, so we can kind of burn that off, super effective, Focus Sash, Focus Blast comes in, we go down, um, his base speed is 372, uh, I think we should be able to outspeed this. Um, after we Mega Evolve and Protect, uh, we should have a higher base speed um, than this Alakazam. Uh, so we set up a Protect. He goes for Psychic. Psychic kind of bounces off. And we are Force 27, so that is going to be the game. Uh, we are definitely outspeeding this. Definitely outspeeding this. Wow, Mega Beedrill is so fast. I could have brought this thing on that Pidgeot and probably gone for a poison jab. So we are gonna win we are gonna win the game right there. Um 
So make sure you uh, smash that like button for me if you enjoyed this battle. Um, comment down below any Pokemon set suggestions or Pokemon names you want to see us use in any future videos. Um, I'd love to hear those from you. Uh, subscribe if you like the content. I'm trying to get the channel to grow. Please try to get this thing to 100 subs. So tell your friends, tell, tell, tell your Twitter. Speaking of Twitter, follow me on Twitter below. My link will be down in the description. If you like the music that's going on, check out Psychic Type. His SoundCloud link will be in the description below. Um, yeah. Again, thank you for coming out. The support means everything to me as a content creator. This has been a lot of fun for me to make these videos, and, and it's a lot more fun knowing that people are watching and enjoying them. So, with all that being said, this is Palatown Smeargle signing out.